Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing the best puffy paint recipe. I did a video a while ago where I tested some of the most popular recipes and this one came out on top. It dries just as puffy as when you first put it on paper. Your kids are going to love this. To make this puffy paint you will need glue, shaving cream, flour, and food coloring. Start by adding a quarter cup of glue into your bowl. Next, add three quarter cups of shaving cream. It doesn't have to be perfect, I fill in the gaps as I go, and sometimes it peeks over the top, but that is totally fine. Give that a light stir, and then go ahead and add your food coloring. The food coloring measurements are different for each color, so I'll show you the number of drops later on in the video. Stir the food coloring in, and then add two tablespoons of flour, one at a time. Don't panic when you add the flour, it takes your nice fluffy texture into this weird looking substance, but don't worry, keep stirring, and it will all turn out in the end. When your flour has been combined, your puffy paint is ready to be transferred into a bag. To make the transfer easier, put a Ziploc bag inside of a cup and then scoop the paint into the bag. It's the same idea as putting buttercream icing into a piping bag. When you are finished, cut a small slit in the bottom edge of the bag and your paint is ready to use. If you prefer to use a bottle, you can use the bag to squirt the paint into the bottle. If you notice air pockets, just tap the bottle firmly on a hard surface to release the air. With the base recipe covered, we can move on to the color measurements. I put a link in the description box below to the food coloring brand that I use. To make pink puffy paint, add 1 quarter teaspoon of pink food coloring. To make orange puffy paint, add 10 drops of orange and 7 drops of yellow food coloring. To make yellow puffy paint, add 15 drops of yellow food coloring. To make green puffy paint, add 8 drops of yellow and 1 drop of blue food coloring. To make blue puffy paint, add 2 drops of blue food coloring. To make purple puffy paint, add 10 drops of pink and 1 drop of blue food coloring. Now before I finish off the video, I wanted to give you two quick tips so that you can get the most out of your paint. The first tip is to use the paint as soon as you make it. I did a comparison to show you. The colors on the rainbow were from puffy paint that I made a few days ago. The white clouds were from puffy paint that I had made just prior to filming. As you can see, the puffy paint that had been sitting for a few days has come out flat, whereas the fresh puffy paint has come out nice and fluffy. The next tip is to use either cardstock paper or cardboard when making artwork with the puffy paint. It can be quite heavy, so you'll need something more durable than plain paper. Alright, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!